Don't you wish you came on? Don't you wish you came on? <laughs> okay. Uh, come on. Come on, let me kiss that. Mm, you know you missed that. Y'all know what you're talking about kissing too, right? <laughs> Baby, too much. Okay, I'm raspy. But anyways, hello ladies. Um, I am back. Hold on, let me make sure this is recording. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's recording. Um, best you've ever had. I don't want to brag. I'll be. Okay, but anyway. Congratulations to all of my BFPs. I want to say congratulations to Tracy, for Chris, to Tia Davis, to Dream Baby 38, to TTC a glowing belly. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you ladies. I wish you all of the sticky beans and the baby dust and healthy baby and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I'm so happy that my girls is getting pregnant. It'd be nice if it was me, but you know, I ain't gonna hate. Congratulations. For my ladies that has not received their BFPs, I want to say congr congratulations. I mean, I'm sorry. I want to say keep the faith, keep it going, and um, hopefully we get our baby soon. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, I guess at some point in time, everyone will get pregnant sooner or later you know so I have so much to tell you guys I was uh, actually not TTCing this month and um, I received my BFP no I was kidding <laughs> it would be so nice if I was could say that I received my BFP yes but I haven't because I wasn't TTCing this month nor have uh, AF show I don't know really what day that I'm my cycle day but I did cheat and take a OPK test because one of my subscribers her cycle is normally the same day as mine for the last couple months so I snuck and took an OPK and guess what the line was so it was hardly another line so I was like oh no ovulation so now my mind is thinking because once a TTC -er, always a TTC -er. Because it's very hard to not TTC when you really, really want a baby. And I told my um, honey bunny this morning, hey, I cheated a couple days. I took some OPK strips and I wish I didn't do it because now I'm wondering, like, why haven't I gotten a positive or a somewhat positive or a darker OPK test result? So now my mind is fixated on that. See, that's why I didn't want to do it. But anyways, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just sit around and just, you know, make love and whenever we want. And if Anflo doesn't show up in the next maybe three weeks, then I will say look into it. Besides that, I'm sick of it right now. Like, I really just needed the break. Because I've been focusing on my baby, my life, my relationship that has been very stressful also lately. It's hard being in a relationship. My God, it's it is hard. Whew. Anyways, we'll get into that maybe later in this vlog or another vlog. Relationships. But anyways, um, I'm at work as you can see. It's dreadful. I hate being here, especially on Sundays. I don't understand why I have to work on Sundays. Nothing is going on here on Sunday. But we have bad administration here, and I'm not gonna go no further because they probably they are probably subscribed to my page just to see what I'm doing. But anyways, IVF, IUI. For some reason, it seems like the IUIs and IVFs are the way to go. I mean, the natural, traditional way don't seem to be working anymore. I have plenty of ladies that I'm giving shots out that's getting their BFPs, but it's not from a, a regular lay on the back, lay on the top, have sex, and be pregnant. It's from help. It's from some system. It's from the doctors transferring eggs or, you know. So what I'm going to do um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to call the doctor and see if I can get one. Because I'm tired of doing it the traditional way and it's not working. And I don't have a whole bunch of time to be messing around. And I'm not saying that I'm on, you know, 
plan on leaving this earth anytime soon. However, I will be 40 years old next year. And I am I want to beat that deadline, period. I don't want my daughter to be uh, five years old or four years old and her sibling, you know, I don't want my daughter to be, I'm sorry, 10 or 12 or whatever. I want it to happen now. So I have to do something about it because it is not happening. And um, I thought that the IUIs were maybe if your husband is not well endowed and it maybe it's not penetrating good but mine is you know what I'm saying so I'm like are they do they take the semen and put it in your tubes inject it in your tubes for IUI or up your cervix what is the difference if anybody knows because I'm going to ask the doctor in the IUI in having regular sex or being penetrated like that is it a difference you know I don't know because I'm even thinking like my girls that's doing this home inseminations from donors they're getting pregnant too so I'm thinking they take using a syringe or something like that so what is the trick what is it is it is it the how far it goes in the depth of it or how strong the sperm is like I don't know but I want to find out because um and I'm in this next cycle I'm going to go hard when I say hard I'm going to go so hard that I'm going to have to come out my pockets with some money if I have to because like I said I'm trying to get it done and be finished with it and if I end up with two babies that'll be fine I'll be tying my tubes and be finished so that's what I plan on doing Miss Jones the Joneses aka uh, AC and Wanda if you watching this video inbox me or let me know because I think she made a video uh, having a conversation about insurance coverage for her IVF for her and her husband so I'm just curious to know like I read up online different states have different uh, criteria for insurance to not either not cover it or to cover only so much but I'm calling my insurance company tomorrow because I do think my insurance company covers infertility however I don't know if I have to be married because I'm not married this is my honey bunny, but I'm not married yet. So I don't know if he has to be under my insurance. But I can't imagine that because if I was a lesbian and I had a partner that we weren't married and I had a donor, I'm thinking I still would be able to get IVF. So I will call and find out tomorrow. And I'll let you guys know because that's something that um, I'm actually looking forward to doing. Okay. Next subject. I have been working on my house. Yes, I have notes too. I've been working on my house. I, as you know from the last vlog, I painted my house. Now I'm getting a back patio put on, um, the stamp cement, and I'm going to turn my backyard into a total oasis. Um, Some place I can sit and breastfeed my new baby. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Um, yeah, I want, I just feel you know, like I, the house is nice, so why not give it its full potential? You know, nice landscape and all that stuff. So I will be doing a video of the house and getting some ideas from you all. Um, I can decorate, but I'm not the greatest at it. I don't know how to think outside of the box when it comes to putting different things in the house. I love artwork, and that's as far as it goes. So that's that. Um, another thing that I've done, and it has brought so much freedom to my life, and one of my subscriber was subscribers was talking about how they um, got a nanny. They hired a nanny, and you know, like I was saying to a friend of mine, most black women, the way I was raised, I've never known for black families to hire nannies or babysitters. They just did it themselves or had a family member come and watch the child. However, in my situation, I live far, half an hour away from the majority of my family and friends. And I'm very particular about my daughter. However, I went on SitterCity.com. And I'm not telling you all to go on Sitter City. I went on Sitter City. So I'm not encouraging anyone to do this. Um, but I did go on SitterCity.com. And I found the best nanny in the world. And I'm so, oh my God, like I was able to transfer my daughter, put her in a good school system out there um, instead of the inner city, which I'm not dogging inner city, but I work for the city and it's jacked up, the school system is jacked up. So I was able to put my daughter in the school right around the corner from my house. They have a great curriculum. They, they, it's a great school. 
And the reason why I couldn't put her in the school prior to having a nanny is because I don't get off work until 7 o'clock at night. And all of Latch Keys are closed at 6. And I live too far. To, I could, They won't let me get off at 6. So I am happy my nanny, she goes and picks my daughter up every day from school. She brings her to the house, fix her something to eat, play with her. So when I get home at 7, 30, 8 o'clock, my baby is full. She's played, you know, and she's had some attention. So I play with her for about an hour, and then I put her to bed. She's going to, she's going to sleep early now versus going to sleep at 10, 40 at night. She's going to sleep at 9, 9, 30 now. So I'm so happy. I'm so pleased. I'm so happy that my daughter is able to come home and actually play in her own yard during the daytime because those two hours make such a big difference. As you can see, ladies, I'm very passionate about this subject and it's something that has been weighing heavy on me. It has been very stressful. My job does not give a damn about it. So, you know, I had to make my life easier and I love Abigail. That is her name. She is a um, 21 year old college student. Well, she just graduated. She's a substitute teacher. She's just a good girl and I'm, I did all kind of background checks on her because the website allows you to do background checks even though if you all didn't know I'm a police officer that's what I do for a living and I could probably do a background check but you don't supposed to do background checks for your own personal um, reasons you have to we have different rules and regulations at my job so I did not do that I went through the Sitter City and they went through Lexus Nexus to do the background check so uh, everything panned out I did my own internet checking just to verify things I did her references and I, I have her ID everything like that so it worked out fine so I'm happy yay that's some stress off my back Okay, next subject. I'm telling y'all all my business. I got rid of my truck. I had a Range Rover truck. I got rid of it. Um, that is just like so much weight off of me because those trucks are like driving a computer. And it was issues going on with it. And I didn't feel comfortable driving it. And I was paying too much money to be driving a truck that I did not feel comfortable with. That I felt like at any given time it would break down. So... And it was nice. Leather. Oh, it was plush. Top of the line. Everything. However, I'm driving my little hoopty now with no car note for a little while to give myself some financial re relief and give my mind some relief because that truck had two engines put in it. Well, the company paid for it. However, once the engine goes out in a newer truck and you're driving it, you never feel comfortable driving it. And paying that much money a month, I got rid of it. Yay! Happy about that. Okay? Last but not least, I'm going to talk about um, my weight. Um, now that I have a nanny, I have two hours to myself in the morning, and I have an hour or so to myself in the evening, so I plan on working out every morning after I drop my daughter off. Yeah, Y'all, look, I'm about to transform right in front of you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's one of the reasons why I haven't gotten pregnant yet, my weight, but I don't know. So... I've been babbling on and I've been talking and I'm, I'm recording from my cell phone so I know that it is probably um, at its limit but I just wanted to talk to you all vent rant whatever ramble everything else I miss you all ladies y'all haven't been making many videos either um everybody seemed like they're taking a break but um just keep it going you know just get on here and do a video about your hair or cooking or something like that or your neighborhood or something so that's what I plan on doing I'm, I'll let you in just a little more and um, and let's do a questions and answer thing ask me some questions we'll do that I'll do you do a questions tag to me and I will answer any questions you have if it's not too personal okay ask me ask me all right y'all so i will talk to you all later and baby dust everybody and i'm about to finish watching this john legend video because it is the best he is so sexy on here with his little self let me look show y'all real quick look at them lips look Bye bye. Ain't this what you